Hello and welcome to the Innovation Games here at Sydney Olympic Park, part of National Science Week. I'm your host, Lee Constable, science communicator and science commentator. And you're joining me for a really exciting event, it's Sink or Float. To take us through the buoyancy and density, we've got Brittany and Sam over at Sydney Olympic Park Aquatic Centre. Let's dive in. Hi, I'm Sam Fricker. And I'm Brittany O'Brien. We're both 10 metre platform divers on the Australian team. And we're here at the Sydney Olympic Park Aquatic Centre and we're going to play a game of sink or float. Let's go. All right, so first up we have this sucker ball. Sam, what do you reckon? Well, as it's full of air, I would assume it's going to float. Let's see. All right. You feel it in and it floats. A lot of your sports balls will actually float because they're full of air. Air is lighter and less dense than water. One way we know that is from seeing a diver underneath the water and when they breathe out, you can see the bubbles go up. That's also how you'll know the way up if you're ever disoriented underwater for any reason. All right, next up we have a golf ball. Now, I think it's gonna sink and I do play golf, so when it goes in the water, we never find it. Yeah, it's pretty heavy. Let's put it to the test. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> well, we threw the ball in and as I thought, it would sink and it did. Now, that golf ball sinking might have surprised you, but just because something's small doesn't mean it's necessarily light. So, does density have anything to do with size? Something can be really small and really heavy. That means it's very dense. And it looks like, from the way that's sinking, that's exactly what the golf ball is. Right, so next up we have this Coke can. Um, it is quite heavy, but I have a feeling it might float. No, 100% it's gonna sink. It's nearly full of, of Coke. Liquid, it's full of liquid. There's like no air in it. I reckon it's gonna sink. All right, Coke, here we go. Is that sinking? Slowly. All right, so we threw it in and it did sink. It did sink quite slow, but it sunk. We've got some Diet Coke here. Um, I would assume that it would also sink considering it's pretty much exactly the same as the other can. What do you think? Yeah, 100%. If the other one sunk, well, this should sink as well, right? Is that sinking? Oh, oh! It floats. <laughs> Interesting. Now this might be really surprising. Now you might be thinking, oh, that soft drink can's smaller, but we checked. Our officials had a look and they're actually the same volume. Just because something's the same volume though, doesn't mean it's the same weight. So our sweetener, and that's the thing in our diet soft drink, is a lot lighter than the sugar that's in that full sugar soft drink. So now we have this very heavy bowling ball. Surely it's gonna sink. Yeah, I agree. Honey, like it's, oh, it's quite heavy. I think it's gonna sink. You wanna do the honors? Can I? Yeah. <gasps> it floats. So Brit threw the bowling ball in and it floated. Just like an Olympic diver, the bowling ball's gone to the bottom and just when we thought it was going to stay there, it floated back up to the top. Just because something's heavy doesn't mean it's not going to float. Think of a massive ship. Well, that was super fun. I was definitely surprised by some of those results. How about you? Yeah, totally the same. Even like the cans, two cans. I thought the exact same thing would happen, but one sunk, one float. Yeah, very interesting. You guys can try these experiments at home, in your bathtub or at school. Um, in a fish tank, but yeah, now someone's got to go in and collect all the balls from the bottom. Ah, oh, that's gonna have to be me, but while we're here, let's do some flips.
You can try that experiment yourself at school or at home using a fish tank as long as no one's living in it or even a bucket of water. Start with small objects and see how you go. And of course, ask an adult.